Discussion is always a challenge uh, because you guys are still analyzing data. You haven't fully, right? That, that's the one that's going to be the hardest to just plunk stuff in and, and, and adjust it, right? It really is the last section of the paper that you write. And so we're still in the process of uh, maybe for the next couple of weeks getting data. So that makes it a little bit challenging. Um, but just to reiterate, the discussion is where we interpret the data, excuse me, we interpret the results that you've communicated in your results section. The re again, the reverse of the introduction. The introduction is we start broad and we narrow down, narrow down, narrow down to get to our hypothesis, to get to our, our central motivation for the study. This is the reverse. We're, we're now saying whether we showed that happened or not, right? And then putting it in context. So. I think one thing that might help you when you're thinking about uh, outlining at this point probably your discussion section uh, is, is to think of it this way. One, what are your major find, finding or findings? Okay, what, what were the takeaways? I showed X, I showed Y. Number next, uh, uh, how does this, f what, what context does this fit into um, the wider world? And then three, we're going to close out the paper with, with what this might imply for management or what have you. So this first part, again, is, is what did you find? So that you're gonna state it. You're not gonna, so just like we were talking about a little bit before in, in your guys' presentations, sometimes because we're going fast with this or that, we might make the jumps. Do not make any jumps here. Spell it out for everyone so they really understand. Sometimes, again, when we're so familiar with the subject, we think, of course, everybody understands what I just told them. No, don't assume that. Again. Each section of our paper, the structure of our technical papers, our scientific papers, were hypertext before we had hypertext, right? So people, can, people might well jump around the paper. That's how I read papers. I jump around. I don't, I don't typically read it from start to finish necessarily, um, especially the first time. And so, so you know, it, it, it should stand on its own. The discussion, session should, discussion section should be able to stand on its own. So what are your, what's your major finding or findings? Oh, what does this mean? Oh, I have an extra space in there, sorry. Uh, what does this mean? And then, importantly, and this is something that oftentimes gets left out. Many, many, many people will leave this out because you guys are going to rush. And you're going to be rushing. And you're just going to barf something out. You need to give careful attention to alternative interpretations. Yes, it might mean what you're saying. That's one possible explanation for your data, and that's cool. But are there other possible interpretations, right? So that is not uh, considered a weakness in our writing. It's a strength of the scientific process. Well, we did this, but you know what? I only did this in summertime, or I only did this in spring. And so I'm assuming this would apply throughout, but maybe there was some, some other physiological thing going on that maybe generated this pattern that we saw, or, or, or whatever the case may be. So consider the alternative explanations. Again, that part two, which is the context, this is where you guys are going to put this in the context of first the other scholarly work that's been done in this arena, if, if any has been done. And if not in this particular, with your particular species in your particular setting, probably been done elsewhere with, with similar species or, or similar landscapes or whatever the case may be. You're going to talk about why your results might, so now if this differs, and oftentimes things do differ because we work in ecological systems, not physics and the, the easy predictable stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So we work in this chaotic world. So it's very, very common that, that our results from, our, from forest A, let's say, don't necessarily follow the exact same pattern as forest B. So let's, again, not, not ignore those, not like, ha, 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 warm, safe place, I'm going to ignore that, but it's actually... Let me, let me embrace that. Let me say, yep, that guy found 20% higher values than I found. Not sure why that is. It could possibly be because of this or that or, or uh, you know, whatever. And then again, what are the weaknesses of your stuff? So, you know, uh, so, so and, and don't, don't, this is another one that's easy for sometimes you guys beat yourself up. This is like a sucky thing. I'm just an undergrad. And there's, you know, you don't want to go that far. You guys are doing great work, but we'll, we want to be honest, right? So I only had three months to do this, right? I could only, the greenhouse was only so big, whatever the case may be. And so, yeah, you know, if I would have had the ability to have 
three other treatment types, I could have really shown that this absolutely was definitely going on. As it is, I think it's a strong case for this, but I haven't fully tested all the possible parameters, that kind of stuff. And then uh, in the closing part of, uh, in, in the, the last little bit, um, you want to summarize, because now, now we've walked through a discussion, remember, right? So we've, we're kind of, you know, paragraph to paragraph, maybe some section headings here, helping out possibly with these three, uh, three broad categories um, or additional subheadings or what have you. Um, let's, let's bring it on home. So let's have the final doom. In fact, some journals will actually have a discussion section and a conclusion section. You guys are welcome to do that if you want. You need not. Typically, the, these days, most people just sort of think, think discussion is fine. But the last paragraph or two of the discussion would be the conclusion. Uh, but, if you, but if you would really like to do that as a separate section, by all means, go ahead and, and uh, you know, knock out a, a separate heading. But this is where we say, remember, this, I started talking about global warming, and then I went all down. This is a, how is this addressing that bigger topic of whatever, global climate change? Um, and here's the key thing that you guys need to spend some time thinking about, because one of the aspects that you're going to be evaluated on, especially in your poster presentation, but also your written text, um, but in your poster presentation, you have to be able to you know, summarize it and be succinct. What are the implications for management? Just about everything you guys are doing now has some implication for management or how people should teach or whatever it is, right? So tell me what that, tell me what those implications are. What are the recommendations? How should we teach the kids from here on out? How should we, how should we power our, our lawn care devices? How should we do that, right? Well, give me the takeaway, right? Give me the thing for the manager person that needs to make a decision tomorrow and cannot spend another three years studying and looking back. They have to make a decision, right? Now, if it's completely, you can't make any clear recommendations, or whatever, that, that's one thing, but you at least want to address that. And, uh, and everybody here has some uh, contextual, you know, you, you guys can address that in some way, shape, or form, but just remember to do that. So that's my only part. Not, not a huge hurdle, but sometimes this gets, gets left off. Okay. Questions about what's in the discussion section? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, so uh, just to reiterate, the discussion section, there is no new data in here. All of the data that you collected is in the results section. Might be in a table form, might be in a, might be in a, ch a, a figure form, might be in the body of the text, but it's there. It is okay to introduce outside data at this point from other people's work. That ju just like we were talking about uh, in this context, this research context part, totally cool to put in a graph from somebody else or maybe lift the data from someone else and then re-graph it onto yours, do some additional thing like that. That's cool, but no data that you collected should show up in here. It should show up in the results section. Cool? Questions about the discussion? Yeah, Hayden. So discussion, so the first part is <clears throat> wanting just like an outline of what you found. Like these are, this is the two main things that I was looking for. This is what supported those are discard or discredited them mm -hmm. right and then the research is just, the research context is just what do those two things mean okay. and 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 is that is that may is that consistent with what other scholars have found is it totally different you know that th that kind of thing is this is this building an even stronger case or is this building an opposite case or is this sometimes supporting it and sometimes not right and why might that be and then the third part is just what does this what mean? Happened. What does this mean? Yeah, so in your case, what does it mean for the school district? What can they, how should they adapt their learning modules or their academic planning given what, what you've done? Talk about like improvements, how you can improve your own project. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. So, so this part that is, this part that state the limitations or weaknesses, you can totally say, ah, uh, you know, whatever. I tested three blends of gasoline, and turns out now that I look about it, look back at it, and look at my results comparing to other people's stuff, you know, I really covered a narrow range of the the, the full possible range, right? So, um, uh, future researchers might, if they repeat this, they might want to use maybe one of my blends 
and get some things that are, yeah, that's a, that, that, this is exactly what you want to put in there, right? Again, that's not saying you're stupid. That's not saying you did a bad job. That's how science works, right? So we're going to take that. We learn something every single time we learn something and let, let's go forward, right? So here's my, now, now somebody reading your paper might take away a different thing, but they'll probably at least take away your suggestions, right? So that's good.